Yo, hey, what's up you guys? This is your boy Rexies and today I'm going to give you guys this nice tutorial on how to reaction shot. So, to get this started, I'm going to tell you a few things that the, the reaction shot helps you with and those personally that I've noticed is creating distance, closing distance, and just making it uh, like a flashy kill. Like when you want to just, you know, embarrass somebody or something like that, reaction shot the things you want to do. It makes it it's the best looking thing in the game. It's my favorite move. So this um is quite simple. A lot of people like they overcomplicate it, but I say it as if you can up it, you can reaction shot. So upping is like the most basic fundamental move in the game. You basically just slide into the wall, press um, up on your left stick, and then press A. And you shoot in the transition of going of, of pressing A. So it's like you're pressing A and shooting at the same time. So you shoot and press A. Like it's like the same time though. It, you, you do like a, a split second after you um you up A though. Like after you press A, you shoot like a split second right after. So then it's like your shot comes out while you're running. And you just hold the A button down so you continue, your, um, your character continues to run. So that, that's very simple, right? That's the up A. Now, all you're doing in a reaction shot, which um, I recommend you do it on claw because it's kind of hard to me to do it on default. Because your character, like, it's like you stop running because you lift your finger off so you can turn the camera. Um, what you do is, all you do is turn your right stick while you're up A. So it's, it's very simple. Um, you just slide to the cover. And while you're holding RT, I mean, while you're holding um, A, like uh, we press A, you're rotating your camera behind you or whatever direction you want to go, and you're just shooting. So it's, it's very simple. Just try to do it. Like it makes your character turn a different direction, but you can also make it like wrap around so you don't have to um, turn around completely. So like you don't continue going that direction. So what you do, you turn that, that way your camera, and you like you let it go. So like you let you let yourself like just you know just get back on the rhythm of going back forward you don't really have to turn your camera like back towards that direction it's like you, you will automatically go that way um now if you want a reaction shot and then turn backwards what you do is after you up a you pull your left stick whatever way you want to go so it's like very versatile you can change up directions you can change up the, the angles that you want to shoot at um a few ways i see it being used is for what's like a wraparound shot which is if somebody's on like the other side of the cover i'll give you an example right here um, what you're doing is you're like shooting on the inside of the cover, so it's like it's like you're you're just wrapping around, like it's like your shot wraps around the cover and you know um, it kills the opponent on the other side. Um, that's very like effective. A lot of people do that a lot. A lot of pro players use that move like every single game um, because like it's usually to get that kill when the opponent's for red. Because usually when you do the wraparound shot, you're not gonna hit the full spread, but it doesn't always take the full spread to get that uh, that chunk if the opponent's already hurt. So. Um, that's a very good shot to use, but you don't always want to slide into the cover because it's easily punishable sometimes. Um, I'll give you guys some examples real fast of me closing the distance and, you know, just doing like a world star or whatever. And also creating distance using it because you don't have to use a reaction shot every single time to, um, to go for a chunk. So, like, when, like an example right here of me creating distance is, is that you'll notice that what I do is I use reaction shot to get away and to, um, and to like, like, Put a lot of damage on the opponent, so like, I I get away from them and then I turn around and then I defend them off with like a two shot down or a three shot down, you know. So it's like you know you get away, you create distance with them, and then you just turn around and you can take the fire you want to because your opponent's already hurt because you hit the initial shot. Um, also, like you, if you want to chunk them, um, don't do the move way too much because like I said, it's easily punishable. But make sure they're in like a good chunk range that you would be able to get the kill if there was like a wall like to up a. So yeah, make sure you guys use this move well, have fun with it. It's like the best move in Gears of War, in my opinion. Very good, very effective. And uh, that's just it, guys. I'll see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And peace out, y'all. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Actually, your boy Vexies, we out.